Good morning, my little artists. So we're gonna start one of my favorite projects of the entire school year. So we just did a lot of 2D flat work. Today we're gonna start some 3D painted paper peacock puppet. So to make this lovely paper peacock puppet, we're gonna make some painted paper first. Now I already have some painted paper, but the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna have to paint two different pieces of paper. So let's get started. The first thing you need to do is always put your name on the back and then on top of your messy mat, you're gonna have one piece of paper and you're gonna do blues and purples. You can paint it any way that you like. You wanna do stripes, you wanna do polka dots. This is gonna be the feathers of our peacock. So we're gonna use liquid tempera. We wanna make sure that we kinda squeegee our brush off really well on the edge of the cup so that it's not real watery. And then very quickly, you're gonna do purple and blue. You don't even need water for your brush. You're just gonna paint the whole thing. So that's one whole piece of painted paper and you're gonna go ahead and put that on the drying rack. Then we're gonna do another piece of painted paper exactly the same way except using two different types of green. Now go ahead with your two different types of greens. Maybe this one you wanna do differently. The other one I did diagonal. So this one I'm gonna do horizontally. You wanna make sure that there's not big globs of paint on your paper. Yes, it's going to be very, very wet, but that is okay. We just wanna avoid big old globs of paint. Now you are working on a messy mat, so don't worry too much about the edges. Just get the whole paper covered. So that's gonna be all we do for the first day of this project. And then in the second day, we'll have our painted paper ready to go to be able to cut the shapes of the body out. So I had this piece of painted paper from last year. I've got my peacock tracer. See how you can fit your hand inside of it? That's the puppet part. We're gonna take our green painted paper and we're gonna fold it hamburger like a book. And then we're gonna put the peacock tracer at the bottom of the paper. This makes it less cutting for us. Grab your pen. And making sure that it's at the bottom, go ahead and trace around it. Now this part is super important. You have to make sure that you trace hard enough so that you can see it. And when you cut it, you wanna hold the whole thing closed because you wanna cut both of them at the same time. So go ahead and cut them both. Okay, here comes some really, really, really important information. So we've got the two pieces of our body. Now, see how we've got two colored sides and two white sides? We wanna put the glue on the inside, kinda like you would put the PB&J inside of the bun of your sandwich. So go ahead and grab your glue bottle, and you're gonna make a line of glue around the edge. I'm gonna draw it in pencil just for you to see, but you don't have to draw it in pencil. So this is where we're gonna put our glue. Take my glue bottle. Now we're not gluing the bottom. Don't put glue at the bottom because then you just closed up your pocket and you can't stick your hand in it. Now painted paper is a little tricky. It likes to curl when you glue it. So you wanna put them together nicely and then you're gonna hold them down. So I kind of had some extra painted paper just kind of hanging around my room. So I'm gonna use these scraps to make beaks and eyes, maybe some little feet, and a cool little design in the belly. My original peacock had a heart, but you don't have to do a heart. You can make it however you'd like. So go ahead and add all your details.
Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make a star for the belly just because this is our star for the day. So I've made a cute little star for the belly and now I'm gonna make the toes. Now the thing about toes is you wanna make them bigger than you think that you need them. And I'm gonna do that by making them almost as big as this paper. Because if you don't make them that big, then they're really, really hard to cut out. Now, see, I folded it over so that I cut two exactly the same at the same time, saving myself a little bit of work. All right, so here are my two feet. Now, the trick to this is to fold the edge up like a tab. You got a little, little fold on them. Do that with both. Fold and then a teeny tiny little dot of glue or a line. Open up the pocket, put them in the pocket and stick them in. That part's a little tricky. I will come around and help you out with that. Little line of glue inside of the pocket, stick it down. Okay, so that pretty much wraps up day two. Now you don't wanna go stick in your hand in here just yet because the glue is still wet and your peacock will pop apart. That's not good. Okay, so day three. Now I'm at my other piece of painted paper. I have a peacock feather tracer and you need seven feathers. So you're gonna to need to start all the way to the left, all the way to the edge of the paper and you're gonna trace seven feathers. Keep the feather bottom all the way at the bottom of the paper and then kind of just sneak them in there together. So if you did it right and started all the way at the left, you should have room on the end in case you need an oopsie feather, in case you mess one up. Now go ahead and cut all those out. Okay, I've got my seven feathers cut out and ready to go. So we're gonna take our peacock and we're gonna flip them over. This part's pretty important because if you start gluing the feathers up here, you end up with some really floppy feathers. So you wanna take your peacock and take your very first feather. Now this is gonna sound weird. The glue goes on the painted side and you're gonna to wanna to put glue up to the middle. And then the first feather goes in the middle. Hold it down so that it sticks up like this. You Again, you don't wanna put it way up here or his feathers will come flopping back and then we'll have to do a little surgery to fix them. Same thing goes on the sides. You want them to start poking out on the side but you don't wanna put them up too high because if you put it up there, it's gonna flop back. So they kind of go towards the middle of the body of the peacock. So here's my glue line and put it on there. You wanna make it look like a fan so each one kind of tilts out a little bit more. So glue down all of your feathers. Remember, glue on the blue side. Sure that you're holding them down. Remember painted paper kind of wobbles a little bit. Now pick them up and roll them over. Now I was a little messy with the glue. That's It happens. Just kind of wipe it away and pretend like it never happened. Now the last step to this is we're going to decorate the tips of the tail feathers. So using some of that painted paper of a different color, you can cut out any little design that you want for the tips of the so tail. So I went pretty simple and I just cut out these little semicircles. Now these you're just gonna need just a dot, not a lot, and go ahead and decorate the tips of the tail feathers. And here you have your pretty painted paper peacock puppet. Say that 10 times fast. By now, you should be able to stick your hand inside like that. Now, I'm not gonna do it because mine's still a little fresh, but you get the idea. 